Hi there, this is Dave from Backrow Mapbooks, and today I'm going to give a quick demo on how to get directions to and from your destination. So, to start off, I'm going to uh, check out this trailhead that I've created up near Mount Seymour. There's a lot of uh, interesting hikes up there. So if I click on this point, you'll see it brings up the information on the left-hand side, and you can click these two directions buttons. So I would like to get directions to here. So once I've clicked to here, you can see it's set the destination. So all I need to do is set my origin. So one cool trick is you can use your current GPS location by clicking this button and it'll populate your current location. So now that I've set an origin and a destination, you can see it's providing uh, directions uh, with all these detailed steps. If I zoom out, you'll see it has the path from uh, point A to point B. And depending on the type of activity you're interested in, you have a few different options here. So you can choose traffic, which is based on uh, the drive time. Driving, I believe, is based on distance. Walking, will use uh, the walking net, uh, trails network as well as cycling. So you can see depending on which activity I'm selecting it will redraw the activity for the directions. So another thing I'd like to show you is if you are interested in getting directions to or from a certain location uh, that you just see on the map you can right click on that and it brings up these two direction buttons again. So again, I'll click two here and I'm gonna use this your location once again. So you can see now that I've set the destination and the origin, it draws the line and toggling through the different activities provides slightly different routes depending on which activity you're most interested in. Okay, so if you'd like to get directions to anywhere on the map, you can either use the to and from directions or you can use the right-click trick that I showed you. Thanks very much.